And now, your first alert. Yes, I'm here. Big drum payoffs and intros. How's it going? Jeff Roper here in the First Alert Viper Weather Center. It's like I'm hoofing it down Pocatello's I-15. And we're going to see temps today in the uh, 79 to 80 degree range again. That's the uh, exciting thing around here. we got another warm day ahead of us. I think you're going to enjoy that. I don't have any qualms about it. I do know that uh, you will indeed see some rain after midnight tonight. I'm going to plot that out for you. Pocatello's at 42. It feels like it's about 38 degrees. Winds are out of the north at about 7 and the sun will be up this morning about 730. So these days they keep getting shorter. We're about a month away from falling back and losing an hour of sleep or no gaining an hour of sleep, right? We gain an hour. We get to fall sleep, back. fall so we back. Get, we get so. Ah, nesty. 30 degrees in Jackson. It feels like 23. I just dated myself. Uh, <laughs> the nasty plunge. Uh, 27, 25 is when the sun will come up there in Jackson Hole. So uh, red flag warning has been issued for Bozeman, Montana, up that way. We've got mid-20s into the parks. It's 42 in Rexburg, 57 in Blackfoot, 49 Chalice, 39 Arco, and about 30 degrees in Jackson. The nation's midsection is under the dominance of high pressure and high means dry. So we'll take this moisture combined with this system, wrap it all up into some sort of ravioli spaghetti mess that will hit here late tonight and really shake things up and cool things down for you too. And I'm going to talk about some snow coming up as well. It's going to be 73 today in Jackson, 73 in Island Park. It'll be 80 in Salmon, pushing 80 degrees through the 15 corridor and be right there around 82 in Pocatello. So just know that uh, we're going to cloud up and then after midnight tonight uh, we'll start to see the rains push in from the south and that front approach from uh, Oregon. It will be uh, not as breezy this morning as say it was yesterday afternoon, but you can count on the winds beginning to change. Take a look at the Viper cast. A mild day today, clouds building up. There's one front. It slices through that moisture. This is Wednesday morning at 11, and we just see that envelop us right along the frontal edge there with showers and thunderstorms and with enough cold air punching in mountain snow is a possibility for our area as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. So for today, mostly sunny rain late tonight. We're going to be in the upper 70s through the 1520 corridor, 73 in Jackson and right around 77 into Stanley with the clouds beginning to build. So for your neck of, neck of the woods, it'll be 79 in Preston and Malad, 76 in Lava, 76 in Soda. And as we get into the upper highlands, we'll be in the upper 60s for the parks, lower 70s into West Yellowstone. Closer to 70 degrees in Jackson, it'll be 75 in Driggs. Swan Valley, 79 and feeling fine right there around 80 for Chalice and Salmon. And we'll see lows in the mid 40s overnight for the Snake River Plain. The the site and uh, the lower snake plain from 77 at American Falls to 79 degrees in uh, Rigby. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast. Salmon, you got another warm day ahead of you. It's going to be 80 degrees. Then we just start chopping away at the temperatures. We go to 70 tonight, upper six, I'm sorry, lower 60s, and then we're in the upper 50s for Saturday with uh, limited chances of showers. So we get through this mess for the next couple of days with half and half chances of showers. And then we're watching this next system on into next week as we see temperatures get into the 20s overnight. And that could mean some high elevation rumblings. It'll be 78 today in Rexburg, 65 tomorrow. And we bring in a 40 to around, uh, well, 80, double the chances of showers and storms uh, through here with that convection. As we get into Pocatello's forecast today, it'll be 82. We'll drop it to 69 for tomorrow and rain chances on the bump for Thursday and Friday in the upper 50s and then cooling conditions. Jackson, it'll be 73 today and that chance of showers pushes up in here late tonight. It'll be uh, 63 for tomorrow in the uh, upper to mid 50s for Thursday and Friday before we bring in a wintry chance of something maybe on Saturday with that lash push of energy and some of that cool air. Idaho Falls today, look at the TV, 78. Uh, that shower chance falls up into the overnight hours, late this evening into the overnight. It's only going to be 67 tomorrow and right around 59 
for Thursday with good, good chances of rambling showers and storms and cooler air in here as we get you to freezing on Saturday night. And in Blackfoot, it'll be 79 today. We'll be right there at 67 for the extended period. And uh, that is your first look at the future forecast for the next eight days from our new home here at Local News 8 and Eyewitness News 3. I'll have the question of the day coming up for you. We do it every morning and at noon, Emma, this is something we do every day. We ask this question and then people call us and give us responses. And it's always interesting to hear what we have to say along with what you have to say. That is straight ahead on the big newscast. Back to you.